CNBC TV 18 presents the AI Dialogues in association with IBM. I want to know that at HDFC Securities, uh, how are you shaping your service <coughs> delivery models for the future? What sort of trends are you watching out for? And, uh, you know, say over the next five year period, what are the AI deployments that you're looking at? Sure. See, uh, as of now, it is really difficult to have an equation whether we have proper ROI on AI or not. Because as of now, it is not an apple-to-apple -apple comparison. Mm -hmm. What systems we have and what systems we are, you know, envisaging. Now, coming to uh, AI, see, what happens? We have huge data. Data is not new. Data is there with us. Mm -hmm. The usage of data, we are generating insights. With the help of AI, the time to generate the insight is reducing mm. and that is helping organizations to take their decisions little faster now what the value we can you know uh, apply to this saving in time it is really difficult to measure as a terms of roi and this technology will surely you know help organizations not only to take decisions based the data that is there rather to preempt it based the ai uh, technology that it is having on the trend of the data. Hmm. So uh, I feel in coming years, it will surely help organizations to be very fast in implementing new technologies to adopt uh, new services that we can offer to customers. Because, uh, uh, because the changes, the time to shift from old to new is reducing with the help of these uh, technologies. Uh, well, no conversation on uh, financial institutions is complete without talking about fraud and, uh, you know, prevention of fraud, cyber security. And all of this becomes a lot more complex and stressful given that we are exploring emerging technologies and uh, so are scamsters. And they always seem to be on top of technologies as well. So uh, give us a sense then what are banking and financial institutions doing to really put strong guardrails around protecting consumer wealth and consumer data. Uh, any, you know, top one or two strategies that you're putting in place while exploring emerging technologies? Govind, if you can start. No, I'll only say that banking has always walked down the trust and it will always remain. Because ultimately, the users of the system are the same human being. Two or three people could live together, they can take out money fast, and you will come to know a bit later on, somewhere when the suspicious transactions are detected or customer comes and complains because money is there mm -hmm. and when you see so much money you don't know a person always gets tempted so that that's the biggest problem in banking whatever technology you use so unless your ai is so strong that any abrasion or any unusual transaction for that you have to write a very very strong logic <laughs> In the nature of branch, the kind of transaction which can happen there. For each branch, you need to know whether that size of transaction can happen or not. Who are doing transactions, whether the transactions maker checker is on the same system. So there are a lot of things you need to put to ensure. And there should be some somebody like AI who is clearly analyzing the data to find these kind of vibrations. So Vishi. Financial risks, fraud prevention, these are also top concerns for CFOs. Right. Give us a sense then at IBM, you know, while you talk of responsible AI, what is it that banks and financial institutions can do with respect to technology? Any use cases that you can share where, you know, AI powered technology has really helped in these instances? Sure. Today, <clears throat> the amount of exposure, external exposure of a financial institution in the market is large. And I'm talking about digital exposure, mm -hmm. right? T largely talking about digital exposure, starting from a small handheld mobile device to a net to so on and so forth. So I like kind of call it as a different concentric circles of the chakra view, right? So, and every perimeter is important. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not that if I just manage my data center core security, oh, I'm safe, no. Because the entry points and the exposure is so large that the entry points to a breach or a fraud is becoming increasingly higher. So the perimeter of security has just expanded. So, and that's why we leverage a lot of our responsible AI piece in our own technologies, right? So the point is, it's not AI for security, security in AI, right? Whatever security technologies you adopt, 
there are a lot of things which ai can help predict well in advance seeing a pattern of things which are moving around yeah. at every layer of a financial institution and probably heal that as well or give insights for people to the service provider the security administrators to act, act upon it right mm -hmm. so that's like infusing ai in a security tool the other side of the coin is security for ai and i said that with multi model with more exposure points right uh, how do you have that security layer agree ag across each one of them could be in the form of identity access management could be on the form of threat management device it could be in the form of digital trust and so on and so forth yeah. how do i know when i am logging on to this mobile it's with she who's logging it it could be somebody else who could be logging on the mobile yeah. uh, so identity access become very very critical so these are some of the places where we are infusing ai in security to ensure that every perimeter of the financial institution is is not breached all right so as we draw this conversation to a close i want to know from each of you what is the next big thing that you are excited about or watching out for when you think about ai led transformation of your banking or your financial institution gobind if i can start with you like today we are reaching a stage where you don't see or you will have a less of a touch you look at banking it's on an automated basis you walk into branch you don't see people it's just like either human eyes or you can do transaction and walk out of the branch you need not do anything you just either access through your biometrics or password you do the transaction automated teller machines automated teller whatever you want you do and you so so off. what's the what's the future trend that you are excited about i think that's that's the future more in the more near term yeah. more and more automation and once the currency is out probably then you need not do that also mm -hmm. ravindra what about you uh, i see this uh, technology will enable uh, in faster and wider uh, customer services the demands means uh, the demands and the necessity uh, of a customer that can be fulfilled by a platform will be enhanced uh, in much more better ways that uh, as of now what we are providing i see this technology will help a lot in that venkat ai will complement what we are doing currently it will help us deliver the experience better customer experience protect the industry it's not in my view it's not going to eliminate people completely or you know eliminate jobs there will be reskilling which will be required so what i am looking forward to is how do i make sure that my team gets reskilled to be able to operate effectively in this new environment and uh, vishy what are you looking forward to looking forward to all these banks adopting the ai technologies of ibm to so give that experience <laughs> right so but uh, that's on a lighter note so that, but that's a sales but, pitch yeah but on that is a lighter note but 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 i think great points from everyone right so uh, obviously as we look at the era and we should also look at the generation who is going to be banking for the future right they are the the new millennials and the new gen zs of the world right yeah. the i would say the experience matters the most mm. because the attention span is very limited right so in that limited time are they getting that experience and of course technologies would help banks get that experience right so we should always fast forward instead of looking at what technologies what are the kind of people who will be banking uh, the with these financial institutions and what kind of genre and generation and is and what is the kind of psychographics of that generation would be looking at because they are they they born with technology well gentlemen thank you so much for joining us here on the ai dialogues today absolutely incredible insights from all of you with that it's a wrap of this special conversation it's clear that while ai offers immense potential for enhancing efficiency scalability and customer experience its successful implementation requires a careful balance of innovation and regulation along with transparency governance and security thank you for joining us here today until next time goodbye cnbc tv 18 presents the ai dialogues in association with ibm